The surgeon will perform surgical debridement to remove dead tissue from in and around the wound. Dead, damaged, or contaminated tissue can compromise the blood circulation to the wound. In addition, the unhealthy tissues are prone to infection. Dead tissues invite bacteria to grow, which competes with growing cells for nutrients and interfere with the healing process. The wound's health tissues may become infected. The infection may develop into a pocket of pus called an abscess that inhibits wound healing. A wound resulting from a vein may form a hardened cluster of dead tissue called an esker that can prevent health tissue growth and healing. Before the procedure, the surgeon may numb the area around the wound with local anesthetic. For more extensive debridement, a general anesthesia will be used. To begin, the surgeon may use saline or disinfectant solutions to wash or irrigate the wound. Next, the surgeon will evaluate the depth of the wound, checking the extent of the dead tissue. The doctor may remove a rim of tissues from around the wound to create a clean margin of health tissue and improve healing. At the end of the procedure, the surgeon will place a dry bandage in the wound to manage any bleeding. He or she may also cover the wounds with moist dressings to encourage healing.